I'm Ezra Kearney from Art3, and I'm going to show you the process I went through to create my painting. The first step was to actually make my own canvas, so I measured, cut, and assembled wood using this saw and other power tools, and I stretched a piece of canvas over it, attaching it with a staple gun, and finally covered it in gesso, which concealed all the pores in the canvas, making it ready to paint on. The only guideline to this project was implementing text or symbols through imagery. My idea was to paint my puppy because I wanted a lively subject, and my imagery is the symbol on his collar, which comes from an album by the band 21 Pilots. Its significance is that my puppy, his name is Bounce, was named after one of the songs on the album. Before I started painting, I was worried about this project because I knew it would be hanging up in the school, and I was not as confident with paint as other mediums, and the freedom to paint anything was overwhelming. When I finally got started, I really enjoyed the process, and all of these photos uh, show the progression of my painting. As you can see first, I started by sketching my dog onto the canvas with pencil, and started with the easiest part, which I thought would be the grass. At first I started with vague colors, before I finally added in the details, and I alternated between light and dark green to test out what I thought would look best and I settled on a lighter green with dark green in the shadow. After that, I began with the forest in the background, shading all of it green to begin with, and then adding in the trunks and leaves, which I decided I wanted to be fall colors, like red and yellow. All of the empty white circles that you see in the painting were areas where I originally planned to have bubbles because I wanted my dog to have a reason to be jumping, but later, I realized that I didn't need that and it would look better without them, so I covered them up and I progressed with the forest making it brighter and more vibrant. I added a little shed in the background which I think was a nice touch and the inspiration for the, the whole background came from a picture of my backyard. Finally I started work on my actual dog, starting with the eyes and expanding outward, painting the darkest parts like the nose and the fur around the ears. And then I went in with the finer details, creating a fur-like texture with grays and blues for shadow. And the last thing I did was implement the text or symbol on the collar. And when I stepped back to look at it, I realized that my dog actually had a lot darker fur than I had painted. So I had to go back with the blacks and add some more around the edges. And finally, it looked exactly like my dog. I was happy with it and this is definitely one of my favorite art projects I've done.